In this video, I'm going to show you how you can debug web pages that are running on Safari in your Apple Vision Pro over on your Mac. So this lets you use the normal Safari uh, developer tools here to actually go and inspect web pages on your Apple Vision Pro. You can see I get my normal DOM inspector. You can debug JavaScript. You can do basically everything you normally can, uh, but for web pages that are running on your Apple Vision Pro. Uh, this is useful because even though pretty much web pages will render pretty much the same way as they do on an iPad over on the Apple Vision Pro, there might be some Vision Pro specific bugs. So things like um, styling, not all of the style elements work as you'd expect, user interaction especially, all of those things are going to be needed to uh, be debugged over uh, for web pages on your Apple Vision Pro. Now there is quite a lot of setup to get this working, but once you have it set up, it should just work pretty smoothly. So just kind of bear with me and remember you only have to do the setup process once. So let's take a look at how you'd actually get this set up. So the first thing that we want to make sure of is that we want to have our Apple Vision Pro and our Mac on the same wireless network. So make sure they're on the same wireless network and can see each other. Uh, you can confirm that by setting up the virtual screen from your Mac to your Apple Vision Pro. Um, so you don't actually need to have the virtual screen running, but that is a good way to confirm that the two are on the same wireless network. And you probably want to have the virtual screen set up because um, the Safari web inspector is going to run on the Mac and then it's going to connect over to your Vision Pro. So you can see I have my virtual screen over here, um, and that is uh, currently showing the Safari Web Inspector uh, for the Apple Vision Pro that is running over in this window. Now, the next thing that we need to do is go and connect our Vision Pro to the Xcode developer tools. I don't entirely know why this is re required, but it um, is basically what allows Safari on the Mac to go and see the Apple Vision Pro. Uh, and this is kind of a annoying extra step, you do not need to have an Apple developer account to do this, uh, but you do need to turn on some developer features. So let's take a look at how to do that. The first thing that we wanted to do on the Apple Vision Pro, so we're in our Vision Pro settings here. We're going to go to the general tab up here, and we're going to go and make sure that our Mac is listed as one of our remote devices. So we'll go in here, uh, find remote devices in the general tab here, and let's just open that up. And you can see that we have added our Mac as a remote device. This is what allows the Mac to actually discover the Vision Pro in the first place. So now our Mac should be able to see our Vision Pro. Um, the next thing that we need to do is actually turn on developer mode so that Xcode can properly connect to it. So this is actually in a separate tab. It's down in privacy and security. So we're going to go into privacy and security here. Very bottom, there should be a developer mode setting. You can see I've already turned this on. So we have developer mode. And I'm going to turn on developer mode as well. Turning on developer mode, again, you do not need to have an Apple developer account. You will have to restart your Vision Pro, but it's a one-time thing that you can do. Um, and this will allow Xcode to go and connect over to our Vision Pro. So let's go back to our Mac here. And X now we need to go and connect Xcode to our Vision Pro so that Safari can eventually connect to it. So back on our Mac here, we've got everything set up on our Vision Pro. We've enabled remote um, devices and we've turned on developer mode. We're going to go and let's boot up Xcode here. And we're going to go up to the window tab and go or to the window menu item and then go down to the devices and simulators section here. This is going to show us all connected devices. You should see the Apple Vision Pro now showing up in your disconnected section, and you'll just wanna to connect to it. This does not actually require having a Apple developer account. Um, you just need to go and connect, um, and this will let you go and debug the web pages on Safari. Once you've connected, uh, you do not need to have Xcode continuing to run. Um, so you can actually quit Xcode and not worry about Xcode again if you're a web developer but you do need to install Xcode this very first time to connect them um, so that Safari can see them. It is a little bit of a pain because Xcode is a quite large install, but that is currently how things are. Hopefully this gets a little better in the future. All right, that's a lot of setup I know, but hopefully now we've got everything uh, set up and we will not have to do those steps again. Um, again, once you have this set up, uh, everything should now just work uh, pretty nicely. So the next step is that on uh, so we're going to load our web page over on our Vision Pro that we actually want to debug. So I'm actually loading a web page that is being served locally from my Mac, and I have a whole separate video showing how to do that. Um, this is useful if you're doing local development, but the same developer tools, they work on um, any web page that you actually load in Safari on your Vision Pro. So go and load up Safari on Vision OS over here, uh, and then back on our Mac, we're going to go and um, connect our developer tools to them. So uh, here I have Safari on my Mac. I have turned on the developer tools. Um, there is a preference that you can do to turn on the developer tools. You should see a little develop menu item up here if you do this. So uh, we'll go and find develop up here. Now, if everything has been set up successfully um, and your Vision Pro and everything is still on the same network, you should see a new section here that has your Vision Pro listed in it. 
And once you go to it, you can actually see all of the open web pages that have web content in some way. If you're not seeing this, make sure to run through those steps again uh, and make sure that everything is properly set up. So um, making sure that Xcode is connected, uh, for instance, to your Vision Pro, um, that is the only way that I've found to actually get the Vision Pro to show up in this developer menu. I am now going to select the web page that I'm interested in that's running on my Vision Pro. So I'm going to select the web page here, which again is just a local web page. And now you can see the normal Safari developer tools have opened up over on my Mac, but they are actually connected to the web page that is running over on the Vision Pro. So pretty cool. Now these uh, web tools, it's just the web inspector part of the web tool. So it's not connected to any window because again, this is the uh, version of Safari running on the Mac that is going over to the Vision Pro, which is actually showing the web content. But other than that, it is pretty much the normal um, Safari developer tool. So you can do things like inspect the DOM structure. So we could go in here and say, hey, this page consists of a button. Let's see what's under the button. And there's a little counter element under the button here. We can also see the console log. So if I look at the con console log down here, let me actually open that up on my web inspector. You can see that, sure enough, we see things that are being logged from our web page. So we see increment encounter being logged down here, and that is actually coming from the web page. And then we can do things like debug JavaScript. Uh, so if we go to the Sources tab up here, we can see all of the loaded JavaScript um, and actually go in, let's create a little breakpoint here. So this is just a uh, click event handler. So we're going and adding a click event to our little box on the web page. If I go and actually click on something back on Safari, you can see that sure enough, we have hit the breakpoint. We can inspect variables. Uh, we can evaluate expressions, uh, step through things, do all of the normal things that we'd be able to do on a Safari web page, uh, but for the web page that is running over on the Vision Pro instead, which is pretty cool. Um, I found that in general, web pages that are running on the Vision Pro will render properly. Um, there might be a few things around like hovers, for instance, that aren't going to work as expected. So you might have to adapt some things. But you'll probably have to uh, modify your code in some way to uh, fit better with the Vision Pro eye tracking interaction model. So making UI elements larger, um, switching to use the proper type of events uh, as well. So uh, just making sure that all of those work. So some types of events like mouse movement just do not work on the Vision Pro uh, right now. So just making sure your web page works. But in general, rendering and everything, if it renders properly on iPad on Safari, the rendering of the website itself probably should work as you would expect on the Vision Pro. That's not a guarantee, but in general, that's that's kind of what I've found. Now, I know this was a, a lot of information here. Um, so just to run through everything that we needed to do again, especially for the setup. Uh, remember, you do not need to do all of the setup um, every time you connect. You only need to do it once, and then Safari should be able to see your Vision Pro after you have everything set up. But let's just run through the setup again, because that's where a lot of things can potentially go wrong. As a first step, um, we're going to want to make sure our Vision Pro and our Mac are on the same wireless network. And you can test that by setting up the virtual screen from your Mac in your Vision Pro. Uh, so, you, so you can see my virtual screen here. You do not actually need to have the virtual screen connected, but probably a good idea so you can actually see your developer tools that are running on Safari on your Mac um, inside of your Vision Pro. The next thing is, in our settings, we're going to go into the privacy and security section here and go and turn on the developer mode. So this is what lets uh, Xcode on the Mac see your Vision Pro and connect to it properly. So go to the very bottom, turn on developer mode down here, uh, and then that will uh, let Xcode go and see it. We actually also need to go into the general tab and go and say, we're gonna find the remote devices section. So we'll find remote devices down here, and we're gonna go and add our Mac as a remote device. That is also needed so that Xcode can go and connect to our Vision Pro. Once we have those two set up, we're going to go back to our Mac and go to Xcode here. Um, we're going to install Xcode, and we're going to go up to the Window menu bar item. So Window up here, go to Devices and Simulator right here. And we're going to add our Apple Vision Pro as a uh, device that is known to the Mac. So this is what lets our Mac actually, um, and, and Safari specifically, go and see our, our Vision Pro and use the Safari developer tools to connect to it. After we have added it, we do not need to have Xcode running. We can go and forget about Xcode, uh, and uh, everything should just keep working. And then finally, we're going to go and um, on our Vision Pro, we're going to load up a web page. And then back on our Mac, we're just going to go to normal Safari. We're going to go to the develop dropdown, and you'll make sure to turn on the developer mode for Safari, which is under the settings as well. Um, and we're going to just go to the Vision Pro that is being listed here, and then we can select the web page we actually want to inspect. So this is the only step you'll need to do. If you've already done the setup, you should just be able to go to the Develop tab here and then find your Vision Pro. Um, but if something is not working 
make sure to run through those setup steps again, just to make sure that everything is properly configured. Overall, it is, uh, once you get it set up, a pretty smooth experience. So uh, very nice to see this, this all working and have everything kind of just work as you had expected with uh, the developer tools. But hopefully Apple will make the actual connecting process a little bit smoother in the future because having to have Xcode and follow all these steps is a little bit of a pain right now, especially if you're just a web developer. So let me know if you have any feedback or other suggestions people might uh, find useful for debugging web pages on your Vision Pro. Be sure to post those as comments so that everybody can kind of benefit and learn from those. And hopefully you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.